Due to the risk of flexion contractures at the knee and hip, special attention must be given to the positioning of the residual limb following surgery. In a supine or reclined position in bed, the knee must not be bolstered with a pillow or towel beneath it, as this can lead to contracture of both the knee and the hip. While patient is in a rigid removable dressing, this is not as much of an issue compared to when they are out of the device. The correct positioning would be to have the legs straight on the bed or even a towel underneath the distal end of the limb if the patient can tolerate it. Lying prone for a portion of time or when sleeping can be beneficial for the transfemoral amputee, especially as they are more susceptible to hip flexion contractures. With the patient seated in a wheelchair, the use of a leg rest should be utilized to ensure the residual limb remains straight. Having a patient dangle their leg down with the knee flex for long amounts of time will increase their chances of a hip and knee flexion contracture if exercises are not being done and a leg rest is not being utilized. For an above knee amputee, stretching is imperative to avoid a hip flexion contracture as there is no way to keep the hip in a non-flex position when patient is seated.